Hey, I realized I had a little revelation recently that I'm really passionate about interior design and not so much about editing videos and whatever. And so I think that was why I was kind of taking a while to post and like whatever. So here we are now. Um, I am still trying to figure out my whole setup and like what's easiest and like what's gonna make me actually post because I love doing this interior design stuff and I wanna share it. So let's just get, get into it. I have this cute floor lamp that unfortunately I cannot use in this house because it just doesn't work anywhere. So I'm gonna sell it as a part of my journey to revamp my house. So as you can also see, I have this ugly chandelier. I'm gonna try not to use the word ugly to describe things, just not my taste. So I have that chandelier and I really want a new one, but I don't want to spend the money. But I just remembered I have this floor lamp that I could sell, so I'm gonna well, I have to glue these. There's some some things loose. So I'm gonna glue these and then sell it and use that money to get a chandelier. I'm gonna show y'all some, some chandeliers. I've been looking at some inspo I have and I cannot wait because I really like this room. Uh, I used to have pink wallpaper with rats and fire hydrants and pigeons. It was like New York wallpaper. Was not a fan personally, so I did contact paper over it because it is a rental, so we're gonna have to take that off at the end. Hopefully it doesn't ruin the wallpaper because that would be very expensive to repair. The next thing after that is I want to change these. Ooh, I feel like they are quite not my style. Oh my God, hey girl. Um, oh, my Air One package is also here. So yeah. I just want something light and soft and cutesy. So that's my first project. I'm undergoing a lot of changes with this house. I want it to be gorgeous, even though I'm gonna move out, hopefully as soon as my lease is over in June. But in the meantime, I'm like, I wanna make it as beautiful as possible. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys my tree. So it's kind of my dining room and my living room that I want to focus on at the moment because they're both like 90% done and I would love if I just really loved both of these rooms. This is my tree. I'm gonna prune her. I think I'm gonna repot it in this pot. I'm gonna prune that. And I also want to get a really cute crate for Chio and new pillows and reupholster this sofa and i want a little <laughs> i want a chest right here for like chio's toys and like this stuff i also want some fireplace balls like some spheres for there would be really cute this is all stuff from different houses and i feel like it all is good for now <laughs> and i also kind of want a giant tapestry or something on this wall but I feel like that's so specific to this house. And if we're leaving, maybe I don't. But like that couch is kind of sad. Like I would love to spruce her up a bit. Sorry, it's messy. <laughs> and then I would say the other thing I want to address is this. This light fixture is not my taste whatsoever. So I'm thinking of the Akari E lamp. Um, you can get it for a pretty affordable price. And I feel like it would fill up this this grand space nicely. Also related, <laughs> I just got the Air One olive oil and I just thought it's a really cute bottle. So yeah, got this bottle. I mean, this chic, this not chic at all. So I'm gonna keep this part short cause I'm just gonna have to do a voiceover and I'm kind of sick of those, but I stopped at this really cute gallery called gallery was 
in the Lower East Side, and they just opened this year in May. And I'm so excited that there is a place like this in New York. Like, there were so many cute stores like this in LA, but I've yet to find many in New York, so I'm super happy for their existence. They have an amazing curation. It's all super rare pieces. Like, I haven't seen most of these things before ever, and, you know, I'm, I'm scoping things out. A lot of it is from Belgium, which was kind of surprising to me. Like, I'm actually not familiar with Belgian furniture, and now I'm going to go read up on that because that sounds super interesting. There was this triangular table, which was really cool, and this massive tapestry, which I was just talking about for my living room. They're kind of trendy at the moment, so I don't know if I'll end up going with one, but loved this place. Wow. The seashell room. Okay, just one more voiceover. I hope you'll forgive me. All these pieces are a part of a project called the Perfect Nothing Catalog. I'll link the article about it down below. They have all these gorgeous little pieces with little seashells all over them. I think the, the thesis around this is just to make mundane little activities festive and fun and joyous. This one's wacky. The Future Perfect is this really cool company. They have a lot of really up and coming designers for furniture and decor pieces. And I had been to their place in LA. They had a shop in home in Beverly Hills and it was really stunning. And this one is in this gorgeous brownstone in the West Village. It's one of those things where like anyone can go, but it feels so exclusive. And like you're in this beautiful brownstone in the West Village, which usually not just anyone can go take a peek inside. So it's kind of cool as an experience just to go. It's like a little museum. Like to me, going to something like this is like people going to the Met or the Guggenheim or the Louvre. And there were some pieces from In Common With, which is from I think my very first video or one of my first couple videos. Was super happy to see those. And then I went to a plant store and picked out the tree that you saw earlier in this video. This is not chronological. Shout out to the Chelsea Flower District. There were many great plant stores if you live in New York. Definitely recommend checking it out. It's on 20 something, if you can Google it. And found a great tree as you saw earlier in this video. And then the very last thing I did was stop at the Matter sale because they're moving to a new location. Nothing quite felt right for me, but I did love this mm, ebonized wood, I think it's called. And you know, these lamps by Min J. Kim seem to be everywhere at the moment. I am so happy for this artist to be getting this kind of exposure and in these high-end stores, it's pretty amazing. Oh, and then there was this chandelier that I posted like four years ago that sold at this store that I was trying out little 3D renderings of and posted on Randomly New. And here it was, all these years later at this store. This one? Long time randomly new followers will recognize her. 